Obama, every time a questionable person would get shot, arrested, or taken to jail for life, he would get on to a press conference and say, the police uh, acted uh, stupidly. That could have been my son. And it's like, yo, dude, <laughs> you don't know anything about the case, but you want to be the first to the media when you see someone that looks kind of like you and say, that could have been my son. Well, I'm going to show you four more people that could have been Obama's son. Can't believe it. But these carjackers were very clever. I want you to watch out for this so it doesn't happen to you, especially if you drive like a nice car. Like you're in a Porsche SUV, you're going to a gas station late at night, you're thinking, everyone's equal, everyone's safe, this is totally fine. Oh, these could be Obama's sons, watch out. A Cleveland attorney who did not want to be identified says he was getting gas at the Shell station on Hilliard Boulevard in Rocky River and decided to grab a couple of items from the station's carryout. He did not notice a sedan that pulled into the station and then backed up, parking unusually close to his 2019 Maserati SUV. Came back out and instinct said something was wrong, but I didn't follow my instinct. It soon became clear why the four teens in the sedan parked so close to his vehicle. One of them slammed the door into my car and I was stunned. I got back out and with that he pulled a handgun, stuck it to my stomach and uh, said your car or your life. Surveillance video shows the longtime lawyer struggling with the gunman who quickly grabbed his keys from his pocket. Then the suspect's three accomplices jumped out of the car and started to surround the SUV. The lawyer retreated to the carryout, locked the front door, and shouted for the clerk to call police. Meanwhile, it took the suspects a while to figure out how to operate the Maserati, but they eventually did, backed up, and drove away, headed for I-90. Helpless, nothing I could do, and it happened all in 30 seconds. The attorney was stunned when detectives contacted him days later and told him that his Maserati had been totaled in a high-speed crash at East 40th Street and Longwood Avenue in Cleveland. It turns out the suspects thought that a security guard who was following the SUV was an undercover police officer, so they sped away, smashing into four cars and a utility pole before fleeing on foot. There was no purpose to this crime. They didn't gain any value. They were joyriding. They destroyed a vehicle that was very dear to me. Investigators say a major break in the case came when they discovered that the car the suspects drove to Rocky River on the night of the carjacking had been stolen days earlier from a food delivery driver. So Obama always says uh, that those could have been his sons. Indeed, they could have if he had them. Also, Joe Biden always talks about white supremacy. White supremacy is the biggest problem, not a joke. It's messing with our country. Well, guess what, Obama? and Joe Biden, that is white SUV supremacy. For some reason, your sons keep wanting to steal white SUVs and take them joyriding, and so that's the white supremacy you're talking about, white vehicles. So if you have a white SUV, be very careful where you're driving around town, and, and, and pick two gas stations that you feel comfortable with, with lots of cameras, lots of lights, and hopefully none of Obama's sons in the neighborhood, that way you can get home safe. And look what happened when Barbie visited the Democrat city right here unbelievable so thoughts and prayers to barbie and we hope your car is okay when you finally recover it we'll be back with a whole lot more of the right show